How's it going everybody? My name's Graham and welcome to the new game Dead Cells. Please be aware it's currently an alpha title. This is just like a demo so there's going to be probably some minor glitches but things should go more or less smoothly. It's been described as a roguevania so it's got roguelike elements and it's like a metroidvania style game. It's I don't know a whole lot about, about it. I plan to just kind of discover it for myself. Thank you to the developers Motion Twin for sending me the key. I'm hoping to kind of discover and learn alongside you guys. That was a gross slime thing, but I guess that's what gave me life now. I actually was really attracted to this game by the gorgeous looking pixel art, and now that I'm actually in here playing the game, it looks better than I even thought. Like holy shit, this art and animation looks phenomenal. So I'm excited for this game just for that even. The beginner's bow, secondary weapon. Do I choose between the, these? Maybe I, maybe I do get both of them. So I get the secondary weapon. Oh, I have to choose between them. Well, I want the bow in that case then. That seems like that could be pretty fucking sweet, is to just start shooting things with a bow. I don't seem to be able to aim it. It seems to just be just be straight. That was a very smooth, uh, smooth wall climb there. Ah, I gotta fight guys with bows too then. Holy shit. Lots of effects, like, uh, what, what are they called? Like, Vlambeer? Vlambeer level effects. And, uh, lots, lots and lots of, uh, death and exploding and effects and everything. Looked pretty fucking cool. Maybe I can climb this chain. Ah, uh, here we are. And break. Oh, okay, that was just like a weird floating gold guy. But it, I, it looks like I also found a recipe, so I guess I'm going to be able to craft recipes soon at some point. Is anything hidden beyond this door? Kind of a, just a little standalone door we got there. Oh, God, what the hell? Ah! <laughs> Gotta jump down and get away from that if people are going to chuck bombs at me. Oh fuck! I, I wanted to I wanted to dodge into him. Some of my some of my lessons I learned from Unworthy were starting to come forward there. Where, if, if you guys haven't seen Unworthy on the channel, it's similar 2D kind of flat, lots of uh, like combat focus, but you would normally dodge and attack, like chain those two together. So I'm I'm kind of in that habit right now. You haven't unlocked another teleporter, and how do I look at my my blueprints? Take your blueprints to the collector to unlock new items. Oh hey, prisoner necklace. Nothing worth mentioning except maybe a persistent smell of dead rats. Anyone is hungry? That seemed like it had kind of like a lol cat. Is it a lol cat style wording to it there. Oh, this is a massive treasure chest. It better be a sweet treasure. Sturdy shield. Attacking immediately after a parry inflict 300% damage. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Which object should you swap? I can actually ditch my sword? I assumed I had to kill, keep the sword. Um, no, I'm gonna hang on to the bow. The, I, I like having the bow. I haven't been using it since my initial... Oh, shit, there's... I don't know if there was fall damage. It seemed like it was just uh, a stun. So let me just test that again so I know for future reference. Yeah, it seems, it seems like you just kind of get stunned a little bit. Oh... Is this like a sarcophagus? What if I... I seem to be able... I can interact with it, but maybe I haven't unlocked something or I don't have the right item because I can't actually seem to do anything with it. Oh, damn. There, You can, like, interact with things in the background. Fuck. I thought this game was going to be a lot less further along than it is. Like, when they told me, oh, be, be wary, it is like an alpha, it's not feature complete, like, you might encounter an issue or two, I expected this to be, like, not very well rounded out, but holy shit, this game is pretty fucking sweet. Increased skill power. Okay, that's permanent. I guess, I guess I just have that now? And that's, oh, nice, now I can actually teleport. So, just a quick... I just want to see how the teleporting looks, because everything in this game looks sweet. And that doesn't disappoint. That looks fucking awesome. This... this game is pretty fucking... this is this is cooler than I was expecting. This... I'm, I'm really into this right now. Choose one stat to improve. Health, strength, obviously strength, more weapon damage. Always gonna... always gonna lean towards that. 
Oh, these I got more of these uh more of these things now. Still don't seem to be able to do anything with them. I don't want I don't want to fuck around with your uh Oh god, that felt sweet. It seemed like I could shoot through things too. How do I get down to there? Maybe this oh, I thought maybe this would like help me teleport across to there or something. I might just be lacking the weapons to do it. I I don't think I've explored everywhere yet. I've I missed a few branches because I think I think this is procedurally generated. Ah, uh, oh fuck! All right, gotta roll past these guys then. Damn it! All right, I I'm not doing that very well. Oh fuck! Not not quick enough on the draw with the bow there. Hey! Oh fuck me! Okay, I thought I was cruising through this. It seemed like things were pretty easy. Now now I'm starting to get my ass kicked a little bit. Twin daggers inflicts a critical blow on the third consecutive hit. Two knives for the price of one. More violence for your dollar. Uh, let's use these instead of the sword then. We'll switch to double daggers. Oh, oh yes. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. And, oh, just a, just a new shield recipe then. Fuck you guys. Ah. Oh. Fucking exploding! You lost eight cells. Okay, so I gotta I gotta look on my UI there and see where I'm actually collecting cells. Oh, new new slime. Got it. Got to revive. Start over then. Fuck, that's a sweet startup. No blueprints. Back to basic weapons. Uh, where where do I have my souls? I think that would be in the bottom left there. I must have to be able to reach like the collector like it mentioned or some other type of character to be able to store the souls like make use of them and stuff because it's rogue light so I think there are some forms of pro progression in this game I'm not completely well now I'm completely starting over but if I make it far enough then I don't necessarily have to completely start over so not everything provides cells Oh, fucking... Oh, no. Okay. I thought that guy was going to be able to get at me again. Treasure found. The level seems m very similar so far. Oil bomb inflicts 30 damage and covers enemies in flammable oil. Uh, I'm not... Oh, I was thinking I'm not doing very well with my bow so far. I should try and switch it up. And I, I can... Oh, I can fire off five, at least. Oh, it seems to recover kind of fast enough that... I don't really have to worry about it too much. Like, you can see the arrows kind of fly back to me there, but I can't seem to fire fast enough to really truly deplete it. I thought this oil bomb was going to switch off for my bow, but now it seems to just be a spell of some kind, so um, I'm going to have to use that the next time I fight uh, a proper enemy, not just one of these gold dudes. Hey, yeah, now I, I just get to use the same style of bombs that these guys keep fucking throwing at me. I'm glad I can get them back for all the shit they've been doing to me. Yeah, so that I have one cell now, and I had six the last time I died. Uh, ooh, this looks like a nice little stash of gold and treasures. Wow, this is a nice, nice easy little corner for me. Tons of shit to be picked up, and I didn't really have to fight for any of it. Uh, go for strength again, since I just found a health improvement. Otherwise, maybe I would have went for health. Pretty expensive stuff here, but I, I guess you earn gold relatively quickly. I can nearly afford it. Throws a grenade? You have a shield that throws a grenade, and this one looks like it also throws a grenade. So I'm not I'm not totally certain about how that works, but I, I might have to pick up one of those shields. I haven't made use of shields yet. Seeing I'll have to wait and see how often I die. If I if I'm just getting my ass kicked like regularly then I might have to start switching to the shield-based character builds rather than focusing on bows and arrows and shit like that. I was hoping, ah, oh shit, I was hoping I could stun the, uh, the shield guy there and be able to get a good hit on him because of that. Like, maybe the explosion would stun him. Ooh, this is a, this is a living chest. Hey, hi there, hit me. Hit me, hit me real hard. This is a hyper-ass chest. You've been naughty, very naughty. Is, is it the chest saying that I've been naughty? He's naughty. He's a naughty chest. You naughty, naughty chest. Let's let's just bust open and see what kind of naughty shit you store in there. What the fuck? 
You did he just did he just bite me? You've outraged the gods. Take one little hit and you're dead. Eliminate ten enemies to lift the curse. What the fuck? I didn't want that. Oh no! Stunning grenade. Inflict thirty damage and stun enemies. Uh yeah. You know what? I do. Oh, I I can have both. I can have my cake and eat it too. Well, I can't get hit though, so I'm probably gonna die very very soon. I have definitely not been gotten good enough at this to be able to do anything without getting hit at least a fair amount. Uh, having the stun grenade is what I was looking for though, that's actually what I wanted. Is this gonna count? Does this count as killing an enemy? Shit, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, well, skill, power, strength. I probably want my strength because I want to kill shit as quickly as I can now that, uh, now that I got this working against me. Oh, don't hang out there, guys. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Alright. Stun, stun. Yeah, the stun, the stun is going to be very helpful. Because otherwise, I was going to get very fucked up. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on. Just keep your distance. Get a quick stun off. Oh, okay, there's a cooldown on the stun bomb. So I can't use it too often. But the, uh, the cooldown doesn't seem to be too, too large. Oh man, these guys have pretty good aim with their barrel tosses. Ah, nice, I got him. Good good blast radius on the barrel there. I don't know how this is supposed to work yet, but my guess is that there's some way that you can transport through that. So I got to I got to figure that one out cuz it seems like I can get some secrets and stuff through that. Maybe I need some kind of key. It's hard for me to say. I, I was really expecting to not live through this curse, so I'm feeling pretty proud of how this is going so far. You can see in the bottom corner of the map there, there's that one very vertical bit that I couldn't seem to explore. I don't really know how you managed to get up there. I don't know, it didn't seem like I could wall jump or anything, but I'm excited that I got to move on to a new area in episode one. Oh shit. Well now I have to fight like a boss? Oh, maybe this is the collector. I hope it's not a boss, because I only have the one health. Well, look who it is. They call me the Collector. I guess I'm about the closest you'll get to company down here. In exchange for the cells you, uh, collect from your enemies, I can give you a few useful items. If you get your hands on some blueprints... Oh shit, I definitely found less blueprints this time around. I think I found, like, the bloody sword and not much else. I'll see if I can put together a few more experimental items. Well, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I only have the bloodbath. I only have the one thing there. Oh, cool. So now now he gets to keep the blueprint, now that I've brought it to him. Um, condition not met, unlock healing potion one. Ah, shit, so I have, to get, I have to get this one first. Luckily, I have enough souls. You now own a full health flask you can use at any time. Okay, so I'll just spend all of them. That's, that's good. I, I thought it was going to be... Uh, say it required 10 and I only had 6, then too bad. You, like, next time you die, you're going to have to hope that you collect 10. I like that you can start investing. You can spend every soul as long as you make it back to the collector. I do like that they have it set up that way. Permanent improvement unlocked. You now own a, now own a health flask. And what are some of these other ones? Receive more gold. Oh, you keep some gold. And holy shit, you need 60 souls to improve the health potion. 15 to get the blood bath, and that doesn't necessarily mean I get it. It might just mean I'll start finding it. So I don't, I don't know for sure exactly how that'll work. Gold recovery, since I can afford that more sooner rather than later, I think I'll start investing in that. Everything you buy here is yours forever. Even death can't take it from you. Let's just say that if you want more power, then you should bring me more cells. Right. Now, out of my sight, prisoner, your presence here grows tiring. I am still rocking the, the tail end of this curse here, so I'm trying to play a little bit more cautiously. Oh, nice! I'll just fill up my flask then. I think it might have already been filled. I think it was, it was already filled. So maybe I shouldn't have wasted that, but I had to find out, right? I didn't, I didn't necessarily know that's how it was going to work. Wow, this thing fucking rockets you out of here. And what, what is this? What is this little trigger for? I'm un uncertain so far. Ooh, this is exciting. I'm excited to see a new area. I wonder how often I'm going to encounter the collector. Like, how often am I going to be able to recharge things? Oh, sick. I made it outside now. This, 
I, I'm very excited about the artwork in this game, so any opportunity to explore new environments is fine by me. I, I it, it really feels like I should be able to do something with with these little blobs. Like, this looks like the thing that revived me in the opening sequence of the game, so you'd think it would do something. What the hell? Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, dodge! Shit. Uh, there was a slight glitch there I, right after the Elite killed me, and the game did crash. That's one of the things that happens with an early access game. I don't want to hold it against it, because I, I would have died anyways, so it's not like I really lost anything. Well, I'm pretty fucking stoked on this game so far. It's got a lot of elements of things that I like. The combat feels really tight. It looks incredible. This is like one of the best looking games I've played in a long time. Like, I'm blown away by the art. That looks fantastic. I'm liking the mix of weapons that you can switch through all that. You got your different spells that you can fuck around with. And it's... I don't know. There's just a lot of good shit to praise about this game so far. I'm very excited. I like the... The progression stuff, it reminds me of Rogue Legacy, that you get to carry over some things. I am very excited so far about Dead Cells, and I hope you guys are too. Stick around, and I'll be playing more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.